Okay, so it turns out that we do actually have some new news regarding the Idaho 4, and this isn't any Ashley Banfield bollocks News Nation shit. This is actually stuff released from the courts. So this is regarding when the FBI seized and took Brian Koberger into custody. They got the following items from 1 to 9. There were state police there, obviously from Pennsylvania, but I think it was much easier for the FBI to just handle this one themselves. As it would appear from documentation that it's the FBI that did the seizure of the stuff that was on him and generated the receipt for the return. So there's actually going to be three warrants. One we've got today, which is what was on Brian's person at the time of when he was arrested. The second part of this warrant is going to be Brian's car. The third part will be Brian's parents' house. Now, this documentation was meant to be released tomorrow, but we've actually just got it right this second as I was making this video. This document is 31 pages long, currently not available in the UK. They've actually made it out like they were monitoring Brian's phone in real time and were actually catching it pinging off certain cell phone towers. And they've actually managed to put together this line of path of travel. Something I've never seen, but this is all pictures of the path in which Brian took. Again, this is all brand new documents that has literally just been released right now. As in, I haven't even looked through the whole thing, I've got to go through it. I was just simply making a video on the documentation that had been released today while awaiting for this stuff to be released, but I've got all of it right in front of me. So what was Exhibit A? Exhibit A was actually just the probable cause of this Pennsylvania search warrant. Now this is when Brian was arrested, so this is what he had on him at the time, which is super strange because four medical style gloves, he had that on his person at that time. Wasn't he arrested at like midnight? So doesn't that put together the case of people saying that he was walking around supermarkets in certain areas consistently wearing gloves, meaning that he may have been forensically aware? The only other thing that I find really interesting in here is number 9, which is actually the buckle swab. If you don't know what a buckle swab is, it's basically where they take a q-tip or the little cotton wool bud thing and they just put it in your mouth. That's obviously for DNA. The rest of it, shoes, socks, things like that, it's just going to be the stuff that he literally had on his person at the time. But the rest of the stuff that they have released, I'm going to go through now. Because what the fuck, 31 pages long? Turns out they may have got a hell of a lot more than we thought, eh?